So, hey you guys! Welcome to my first ever YouTube video. And today, we are going to talk about a certain book that I come to love. And it is titled Tuesdays with Mori and it was penned by Mitch Album. So, if you have not yet read this book, I highly urge you read it now because you will definitely not regret it. Reading Mitch Album's breakthrough novel, Tuesdays with Mori, has been one of the best decisions I've made in my life since it definitely shattered my reading slump and it also reignited my passion for reading anew. At first, I was really reluctant to give it a go because I am not really a fan of dying themed novels because sometimes I think these kinds of genres can be so manipulative and can have a lot of plot holes. And they're also, and they and they can also be corny at times. Choose Stays with Mori just had an inexplicable charm to it that magically helped me to fly through all those pages and to also enjoy every moment of it. First of all, I would like to commend Mitch Album for constructing such a solid, poignant, and attention-gripping first paragraph because the way he weaved those words together to deliver such a palatable narrative and his revelation of Mori's death, his subtle revelation of Mori's death I did, was just so heart-wrenching that it definitely encouraged me to carry on and to finish the entire novel. To be completely honest, only he and Mr. Rick Riordan has been able to completely hook me in recent years in the very first chapter of their books. Um, the beginning definitely set the tone, atmosphere, and expectations right for a definitive roller coaster ride. I also particularly like Mitch Album's funny writing style, which is evident in the line. He looks like a cross between a biblical prophet and a Christmas elf, wherein he was describing Maury's quartz. What he did here was not merely give us a boring, dull description about Mori. Rather, he really squished his creative juices to give us a palatable description that also tickled our imagination and also elicited a smile in our faces. Um, the living funeral was also something that I adored and deemed to be brilliant in the course of the story. I really thought that that was so genius. Whoever thought of that must be a genius. To be honest, it's also something that I look forward to emulating when the time comes. Hopefully, it's not yet soon. Lord, please. Standing indeed. On the flip side, if ever I have any gripe or pet peeves with the novel, it would be the fact that Mori was portrayed relatively like a saint by Mitch. Because it was like he was devoid of any flaws in all the pages of the novel. I never read or I never came across a single temptation, attitude, problem, or internal conflict that afflicted Mori, and this greatly and sadly reduced the his credibility and relatability as a real person. Adding Mori's point of view and more screen time for his thoughts and emotions would have made the story more relatable because as it stands, Tuesdays with Mori is primarily dominated by Mitch's side of the story only. Another gripe would be the fact that they only meted for 14 Tuesdays. I know that this is kinda ridiculous and petty, but I really wished that we could have had more time with Mori because his advice was really just so heartfelt and so applicable in real life that literally I wanted to meet him but sadly I can't <laughs> because he's already dead. In conclusion, Tuesdays with Mori is a poignant, well-paced, life-changing, inspiring and a heartfelt story that will challenge your current perspectives and beliefs and transform you to become the better version of yourself. It is definitely a must read. Um, I will probably read this every time I will need a constant reminder or encouragement in this world filled with distractions, cruelty, and temptations. Tuesdays with Mori is definitely a nourishment for the soul, a happy pill for the 
sad heart, and a medicine for the boggled mind. Watch it. I mean, read it.